Um, just I was just checking out a tweet uh, said, what is the difference between machine learning and AI? And this was a tweet from a technical advisor for CEO of Microsoft. And he said, if it is written in Python, it is probably machine learning. And if it is done in PowerPoint, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> So, so we, we are going to talk uh, a bit about a real use case on uh, the shopping centers across the world. Uh, the topic that we have picked up a couple of months back and thought that this could be the real case for the businesses to understand because when, when we see that digital would have disrupted the normal businesses by 52% as we saw in Accenture slide on us and then if AI comes, what is going to happen to these guys? So uh, with this, we thought of bringing uh, a new way to talk to these shopping mall owners and make sure that they have something good to offer to their consumers, which are real humans. Uh, a bit of us is a Finnish startup for the world market, and uh, we provide a multi-dimensional data, which is enabling these guys to get ready for AI because you know when we talk today we are technically not ready for AI this slide is a bit of fact from IBM which says that today 80% of the data is not searchable imagine the volume of data that we are talking right now here 2018 we are just talking about a bit of sensors and 2022 we're gonna hit a big number if 80% of the data is still not searchable in your category, get ready to shut down your malls. And then don't complain to that, that kind of a scenario where you say consumer is buying from online. You got to build an experience. You got to build something which is going to make sure that your, your malls are going to survive and going to give that experience to the shopper. So we thought of building a mall intelligence network. And in this, we did a unique way of combining 20 plus data streams. And when we say that a lot of people talk to me, uh, I come from a data science background. So they come and say, uh, hey, Yogesh, tell me what is big data? Uh, a lot of students here. Uh, I would like to define it for the uh, that when you talk about the basic data, the market data, and the sensor data. So this is like a, a data which you are talking about volume, a data which has variety, and the data which is coming with velocity. So these three V's are something which makes retail as the best use case for getting the entire intelligence being. Com comprehended or we should say compiled into a packet which can make great retail experiences. We have certain salient features on top of it ranging from IoT gateways, you know, mesh networks, in-store mobile applications and all it says that can you predict your shopper's next visit. Most crucial, if you are talking to a mall owner, if you're talking to a retailer, he is curious to know what is the behavior, what is the predictive analytics that a technology can bring onto the table. So we are basically doing, the way we do is like, we have some sensors, we have some amazing products, probably these are from uh, the providers, which can help us, you know, from a small to a large mall, ranging from 20 units to 150 units deployed, and we are out in one week. The moment we are set up with one network, that means one mall, we go to another, another, another. So far, so now, we have tested in 10 key countries and the pilots have been amazing. So this is something which takes us to the next level where we are talking about you know, cross-network intelligence where a mall, another mall, another mall, and then we say that if a Helsinki city wants to have an understanding how their malls are performing, so it's very crucial for, for everyone to know that there is a network which can get that data in. Data Cloud, uh, I would like to just bring you to amazing uh, traffic flow. So think of the web shops. You get a home page, and then you have a detailed analogy of people which are going to tell you that the person visited home page, went to the shoe, sec shoe section, then to checkout page, and then a mall entrance. This is what Earth's intelligence network provide. A guys entering through the main entrance, one, two, three, goes to the food and beverage section, goes to women's section, hits to the sports section. This is what we call path to purchase. 
if you know this critical insight inside your mall, you're going to crack it. You're going to make it real. And then we talk a bit of use cases where this can bring a lot of importance and value to malls, brands, outdoor advertising companies, app developers. The possibilities are endless. Talk about leasing optimization. I'm, I'm pretty happy, you know, that a lot of outdoor companies have come to us and are talking about this kind of data can really bring real-time display advertising onto the shopper's screen which he's bypassing. So probably I am going through a passage and I see, oh yeah, this was something. One of the amazing stuff that we have done, I would just, uh, these are some dashboards, uh, probably from a product. This is an amazing slide that I wanted to present is that think about a shopping bot. You think sitting at home that today you're going to have coffee, you're going to have maybe buy some pair of jeans and then watch movie. Now think about you give this information to a shopping bot and it tells you that you should go to this mall. This is the perfect option. And then the moment you arrive, you say that this bot lets you walk through. So this is what one of the use case which is right now live. And this is Malls of Globe app that you can all download and check it out. It works in Helsinki City as we present in Slush. So this is one of the uh, story that we have brought this amount, enormous amount of data and this AI is all getting trained every day with footfall data, with weather data, with traffic data, and a lot of other insights. So I end up this thing by saying the measure of intelligence is ability to change. And that's our giraffe. Thank you very much.